So as we all know, Update 5 is coming to Pet Simulator 99 really soon. And this will include the long-awaited Rebirth 3. So before this update comes out, let's take a look at some things we can expect from this week's update. I think it's great to start off with what we can get from Rebirth 3, and there's a few possibilities. Everyone is talking about this castle, I think it's over in uh, Area 56, and as you guys can see, it's locked, it's coming soon. Rebirth 1 unlocked the castle in Area 3, so Rebirth 3 could unlock this castle right here, and who knows what could be inside of that. And of course with this we will most definitely get some pet power increase as well, and a few other OP perks. Let's also go back to Area 3 because there's some things we haven't unlocked there. One of these things is of course the voting booth. Basically we'll be able to vote for what we can expect in future updates, so that's awesome. But let's also go to Area 1, let's go right on top of here and there's this locked gate. Who knows what could be inside of here, we could have a new world. But to give you guys an idea, here's everything we can expect from Update 5 and the updates to come. We'll have 25 new areas, a new rebirth, dozens of pets, we'll have 7 new mechanics, we'll have new mini games, we'll have a third clan contest as well, and much more. So there is most definitely a possibility that we could open this gate to something else. Let's take a look at some new things that'll be coming this update. Two new flags have been leaked, we have a strength flag and a star flag. Strength flag will uh, most likely act like uh, the strong pets enchants. See these right here which increase the strength of your pets. And you know the potion as well which can also increase damage. So this will most likely be a damage boost. But as for the star flag, I'm not so sure. The only thing that has stars is this ranking system so it could have to do something with the ranks. But it will most likely be a pretty rare flag to obtain. But now, how can we prepare? Here's some things we have to do. First up, you want to try and get to the max ranking, which is rank 14. In this update, we will most likely have a lot of brand new rankings. So if you don't grind right now, there's a chance you'll fall behind, like me. But if you want to rank up fast, you want to focus on these two bottom challenges right here, since those will give you the most stars. And some of the four star missions are actually kind of easy, such as hatch two question mark question mark pets or sometimes it asks you to collect potions or break comets. You also want to stack up on pets from the best egg right now, which is egg 87. At least try to get some of these broomstick corgis rainbow and uh, maybe an imp if you can, because they are both really overpowered pets as you can see. This one almost gives 900,000 power. If you want to increase your chances, do use a Lucky Eggs book and a Huge and Shiny Hunter book if you have one. But if you want to stack up on items fast, I suggest you go ahead and use the Flower Garden. Cause if you don't feel like grinding, this is the fastest way you can make diamonds, potions, and gift bags. But if you do need a way to make coins fast, do use the Coins Enchants, the Fortune Enchants, and the Midas Touch. You can use those coins to, you know, get pets. And you gotta spend it on something, cause if you don't, the next area will just uh, take it away from you. But we can most likely expect this update to be out next week or the following week. But if you're excited for this week's update, make sure to drop a like. And until then, I'm out. Peace.